Connor here, and this is episode 4 of How to Code a Minecraft Client. Now, this episode, we are going to be doing some UI fixes, like you remember before, it was a little bit weird looking, as well as we're going to add two mods. So, first off, we're going to go into our fonts class under tutorial.fonts, and let's change Avenir 18 to Avenir 16, and 16, and then get rid of both of the blacks. Because I like the actual regular Avenir font better, and obviously change that to a 16. And now obviously we're going to have to fix that in the UI renderer, and it's 16 now. And let's change Y count to 16, and with the increment, let's increment it by 8 this time. So now let's see how this looks really quick, and then we'll get into our mods. Now we are going to make, be making brightness and step. We're going to do both of them very easily. And we're not going to do anything special for step. A lot of people like jump step. Now you can do that. It's really simple. And I'll explain how to do that if you really want to do that. And I'm not going to show how to do that. I'm just going to, I'm not going to type that out or anything. I'm just going to explain how it would be done if you wanted it to be done. So, as you can see, that looks a lot cleaner than before, if you remember the last tutorial. It's not a stick. It's definitely cleaner. And we'll turn on sprint and then fly. As you can see, they have a decent distance from each other, and I think they look pretty good. So we're going to leave it like that. And with that, let's get out of here, and we can start coding. So go to tutorial.module.modules, and we're going to make a new class. Oh, not a package. Don't click on that. Um, a new class. And this class is going to be called bright. Uh, not brightness. Brightness. And brightness is going to be a module, so it's going to extend the module class, the module super class. So we're going to add the constructor. We don't need the auto-generated constructor stuff, so we can get rid of that. Delete the parameters, and the module name is brightness. The module bind is going to be keyboard dot key, and let's make it B. And the category is going to be actually world, not player, which is the first. And we are going to have a public void on update. So, what we're going to do is do if this dot get toggled. Now, we're not going to do what we normally do. So we're going to do it like this. So we're going to set it up to check if it is toggled, and if it is toggled, then we'll do this, and if it's not toggled, then we'll do this. So basically what we're going to do is while minecraft dot get minecraft dot game settings dot gamma settings or gamma setting is less than 100f because it's a float. So while gamma setting is less than 100, then we're going to increment it by 0 0.5, so we'll just copy, I'm just going to copy this over so we don't have to keep typing that, plus equals 0.5f. So basically, every update, while the gamma setting is less than 100 and the mod is enabled, then it'll increment it by 0 0.5 to get the brightness up to that. So basically, it's going to be the exact same thing, only reversed. So while it's greater than 1f, then we're going to increment it down. Oh, not minus, minus equals. We're going to increment it down by 0 0.5 until it's, um, while it, uh, wait, did I have that right? Yeah, I did have that right, my bad. Um, so you can just put that back. So, as long as it's greater than 1, it'll just keep every update um, incrementing it down by 0 0.5. So, now that we have that done, that is brightness. So, let's just do step really quick. No need to check to make sure that works yet. So, we will add that to this dot active modules dot add new bright, uh, not brightness. And we don't need to import anything, so we're all good from there. Now we can make the step mod. And we can do 
the same thing as before. It's going to extend the module class and add the constructor, just like always. Delete the auto generated stub, get rid of the parameters, and the name is going to be step. And then bind is going to be um, keyboard.key underscore. Um, let's do P, and the category is going to be category dot player. So, with that, we are going to simply do this. So, public void on update. If the same thing as before, we're going to do it slightly different. So if this is toggled else, so if it is toggled, then Minecraft dot get my not that not that um dot get Minecraft dot the player dot step height equals 1.0f. And basically, if it is enabled, then it's going to be 1.0f. Otherwise, it's just going to be the regular 0.5. And we can do that, we can do it like this on like fly because there's no case in Minecraft where your step height might be increased by any part of the game. So it's okay to do that. And that's all we need for step as well. So um, we're going to add that to the module manager. So we're going to add that. This dot active modules dot add new step. And since step is now added, we are all good to go. And I will I will show you how to do the jump step in just a minute. I basically could tell you right now, but I'm not exactly sure of how tall a block is in Minecraft. So you can look that up if you need to. Um which you probably will need to do because I don't have the exact number or the exact float of how high a block is. So basically, if you wanted to make the step that would do like the jump step, then basically you would do the same thing like we did with before with the sprint. Check if you're running into a wall, and if you are, then it's MC or Minecraft dot get Minecraft dot the player dot motion y equals that number, which is the how tall a block is in code F and that's it it'll just jump motion while you up there and it'll be a jump step so now let's show you what now we can show you guys what we got so brightness as you can see let's dig down I'll show you guys what we got going here I'll dig down actually you know what Ooh, darkness boom brightness Now, something you might notice differently by incrementing the brightness, which we did, is it kind of shoots out, the it, it like, shoots out, it, it just looks better, I, I just think it looks a lot better, so anyway, that's brightness, and we now have step, which I'm going to go to the surface to show you guys, and then that'll be the end of this episode, so, next episode we're going to be doing a text radar as suggested by one of the viewers thank you very much for that idea i actually did not think of that so with that um i am going to show you stuff as you can see it's just like a regular stepping up a step except it's more than 0.5 blocks it's up one block so step and step and step and step, and step and all that stuff. So, yep, that is step. Definitely a good mod. Well, I think that concludes this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Um, like I said before, if we get 500 views on each video at the end of the tutorial series, it's uh, at the end of the series, how to go to Minecraft Client Season 1, then I will be posting the source to the client at the end of the series. Um, 
basically, you might be wondering why I'm saying season one. Well, we are going to do a season two, and it's going to be a similar tutorial. Except I'm going to show you guys how to use some nice event APIs and a lot more advanced stuff. This is just a very beginner tutorial using methods for events, calling them when the event needs to be called, and so on, so on, so on. So anyway, guys, like I said, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys later. Goodbye.